Hi students, let us continue with the string library functions. So, so far we have seen different uh, library functions that are uh, string library functions that are used in the program. Now coming to the another library function, uh, string library function that is a st string ncat. So actually in the previous video I explained about the string cat, strcat. So that is used for combining or concatenating the two strings. Whereas string ncat means this is used for combining or concatenating concatenating n characters so that's why here we are mentioning n n characters of one string into another so only n characters so the number we have specified in the program whatever only up to that characters it copied from one string to another string so here the length of the string by your concatenating or combining the n character of one string into another string the length of destination string must be greater than this source string so length of the destination string so that should be always greater than or equal to the source string and the resultant so whatever the resultant means after concatenating the resultant concatenated string will be in store string so after performing the operation suppose two strings a and b uh, if you are con after concatenating the resultant string should be always stored in the source string then what will be the syntax for this let me write the syntax so string ncat is a function name which is present in the string dot h library function string ncat destination string comma source string comma n characters so n characters will be concatenated from source to destination and the resultant will be stored in the source string so let me explain with an example i'll take the program program for string ncat so in which library function the string ncat will present first i will write hash include stdio.h all input output functions will be present so now i am using the string ncat so that will be included in the library function string.h so in the string.h the concatenated function will already the definition of that function is present in string.h main character a of 30 so i am using the first source string uh, a is hello and i want another string because two strings have to be concatenated b of 20 is equal to good morning so i initialize the two strings now i want to access the string ncat I am calling this function. Whenever I use a string and cat, the cursor will goes to the library function and call that particular definition and performs the operation. String and cat a comma b comma four. So I want to concatenate a and b. So a should be there, okay? And from b, I want to take only the four, the four characters. So a comma b comma 4 and the concatenate the result will be stored in a. So that were and you have to mention a of 9 is a null character. Means the last value what will be there that should be a null character. So print f. Sorry concatenated. 
string is equal to percentile s and that a has to be printed on the screen after concatenated close the main program then what will be the output here this concatenated string is equal to h e l l o hello good so why i said a of 9 is the null character because this is a 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so after 8 the last value should be a null value so then it indicates the compiler will knows the string will end so after d the string has is end so no more strings has to be concatenated here so that's why i declared this a of 9 so already the a is the four five characters and 5 plus 4 is the 9 5 plus 4 is 9 so total its length is a 9 so only the 9 characters should be entered here and the last one should be a null character so array is always occupies from 0 index so 0 to 9 means the total 10 character space will be there 8 will is for the output and the last one is for null so this is about the string concatenate and concatenate thank you